alpha and beta are the roots of this equation, that means alpha plus beta is going to be equal to minus of p over 2. And alpha beta is going to be minus 1 divided by 2. So it is minus 1 over 2. And 1 over alpha square and 1 over beta square are the roots of this equation. That means 1 over alpha square plus 1 over beta square. This is going to be minus of minus 5 over 1, which is going to be equal to 5. If I were to group this into one single fraction, it is going to be beta square plus alpha square divided by alpha, beta, alpha square beta square. This is equal to 5. Alpha square plus beta square is the same as alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. And alpha square times beta square is alpha beta square. This is equal to 5. Alpha plus beta is minus p over 2. Minus 2 of alpha beta is minus 1 over 2 divided by minus 1 over 2 square. This is equal to 5. This is 1 quarter. So 1 divided by 1 quarter is 4. And this is p squared divided by 4. And here is plus 1. This is equal to 5. So p squared over 4 plus 1 is going to be equal to 5 over 4. Which means that p squared over 4 is going to be equal to 1 quarter and p squared is going to be equal to 1 and since p according to the question is a positive constant so p is going to be equal to square root of 1 which is 1. As for q, I can solve that by going for the product of roots. If I were to go for the product of roots, it is going to be 1 over alpha squared multiply by 1 over beta square and this is going to be equal to q over 1 which means that q is equal to 1 over alpha beta square and alpha beta is equal to minus half so it is minus half square so q is going to be equal to 4